The newer and more efficient commercial packaged units utilize variable frequency drives to control the fan speed for staged air volume during various modes of operation. Staged air volume, SAV, utilizes a fan speed control board, and variable frequency drive, VFD, to automatically adjust the indoor fan motor speed, in sequence with the unit's ventilation, cooling, and heating operation. Per ASHRAE standards, during ventilation or first stage of cooling operation in two-stage equipment, the SAV system will adjust the fan motor to 66% of the design airflow rate for the unit. During any call for heat, or the second stage of cooling in two-stage equipment, the VFD will command the blower motor to full speed, or 100% of designed airflow. This module covers the ACS320 VFD. This drive is found in the 48TC, 50TC, and 50TCQ model rooftop units. The VFD is controlled by 24 volt DC inputs. These DC signals command the VFD to provide either 66% or 100% of fan speed, depending on the inputs energized. This 24 volt DC control voltage is generated by the VFD and routed from terminal number 9 on the ACS320 VFD terminal strip to the fan control board terminal J2, pin 6. During ventilation operation, or the first stage of cooling in two-stage equipment, the thermostats, G signal, is routed to the fan speed board at terminal plug J1, pin 5. This 24 volt AC signal closes relay K4. When the K4 relay is closed, the 24 volt DC signal from the J2 terminal pin 6 is closed to J2, pin 2, which is returned to the VFD at terminal 13. This input initiates a command for the VFD to come to 40 Hz, running the motor at 66% of fan speed. During second stage cooling, the Y2 signal is routed to the fan control board J1, pin 3. This closes the K2 relay. With the K2 relay closed, the 24 volt DC output at J2 pin 2 is de energized. The output at J2 pin 3 is simultaneously energized and returned to the VFD at terminal 14, commanding the VFD to 60 Hz, or 100% of fan speed. During heating operation, an internal path carries the 24 volt ACW1 signal to the fan control board at pin J1 pin 2, in turn closing relay K1. When the K1 relay is energized, the 24 volt DC signal from J2 terminal pin 6 is closed to J2 pin 3, which is returned to the VFD at terminal 14. This initiates a command for the VFD to come to 60 Hz, or 100% of fan speed. We are confident this module covering the ACS320 VFD, its interaction with the fan speed control board, and the space temperature control, or thermostat, has increased your understanding of the stage air volume mode of operation used in these rooftop units. The customer assurance team has developed user-friendly tools to help field techs report an issue with an ABB ACS320 VFD or even walk him through the troubleshooting process. Please visit us at www.customerassurancefl.com To request our team support with an ABB drive issue, go to our Field Reports tab. From the drop-down, select Commercial. Once on the page, scroll down and select SAV slash VFD, Trouble Report. This app will guide you through collecting the specific information you need to record and submit to the tech support team. A rep will review the report data once received, and will promptly reach out to you at the number provided, to complete the report and discuss any additional details determined important for the case. If on the other hand, you are looking for assistance, or direction, on how to troubleshoot the VFD drive. Once on the home page of our website, www.customerassurancefl.com Go to the Troubleshoot tab. From the drop-down, select Commercial. On the Commercial Troubleshoot page, 
scroll down past the commercial check sheets for rooftop units, splits, V packs, and water source heat pumps. There you will find the VFD check sheet, ABB. This app provides step by step instructions you can follow in order to diagnose the VFD issue. This digital form is based on conditional questions intended to help you identify what has failed. All the readings and responses are being recorded by the app, and will be delivered to our customer assurance team once you submit the digital form. Once received, a rep will reach out to you promptly to help you complete the diagnosis and propose a resolution.